In this interesting question, we have two circles touching each other at point A. The length of chord PA is 4 cm. Length of tangent PT is 6 cm. Radius of smaller circle is 3 cm. With this limited data, we have to find the radius of this bigger circle. Let's check the solution. Let's extend the chord PA to meet at the circle at point B. Now, with respect to this blue circle, this point P is an external point from where we have drawn a tangent and a secant. So applying tangent secant theorem here, we get PT square is PA times PB. Putting the values here, PT is 6 cm, PA is 4 cm. Solving this equation, we'll get PB as 9 cm. Now this full length is 9 cm and thus AB, AB will be 9 minus 4 or 5 cm. Now we know that by theorem when two circles are touching each other, then their centers and point of contact, they are collinear. Here let's join OP and in this circle let's join QB. Now OA and OP, they are the radius of circle and 3 cm each. And here AQ and QB, they are also radius and they are R cm each. Now here these two angles, that is this blue angle and this angle, they are formed by two straight lines and thus these are vertically opposite angles and equal to each other. And this triangle OAP, it's an isosceles triangle, thus this blue angle and this angle will be equal. Same way here AQB is an isosceles triangle, so this angle will be same as this blue angle. Now by angle angle similarity, we can say that these two triangles are similar to each other. That is triangle OAP is similar to triangle QAB. As the triangles are similar, so ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So here we can take OA upon AP is equals to QA upon AB. Putting the values here, OA is 3 cm and AP is 4 cm. Solving this, we'll get value of R as 3.75 cm and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.